I, I personally haven't played against a non-league side really? in the FA Not Cup. Ever. No, no. So um, I'm going to. It is all new ground. It then. is all new ground. Yes, definitely. Um, I would treat it the same way I would play be playing Manchester United. You've got to treat it like that. You've got to give them the utmost respect because you know, if you go to these sort of places and think, well, we're the league side, they're the non-league side. It should be an easy game for us. We stroll about. You get a rude awakening very early on, I think. So I think we've got to treat it as if it's, we were playing Manchester United, and we're going to treat it that way as well. Absolutely right, and I bet Viv and his players were looking very hard at that Bromsgrove pitch there. Well, that's what happens in about half an hour's time. There'll be players up and down the country arriving at away grounds, and they'll go out and test the pitch, and they'll be thinking, oh, don't fancy that much. I've done that many times myself. And all it needs is three or four think along those lines, and you're in big trouble before you start. Mm. Does that mean you're going possibly for Bromsgrove? No, I'm going for Barnsley. <laughs> met First Division Barnsley, and Giant Killing was in every reporter's notebook. Mark Chris put the non-league club ahead after 33 minutes. Bromsgrove still led two minutes from time. Maybe they were wondering what colour the club suits were going to be for round four when Andy Rammel made it one all. Oh well, a replay in Yorkshire would bring in much needed revenue. Bromsgrove would have been thankful for that small mercy when Owen Archdeacon blew them away with a last minute winner. I thought we were the luckiest team in the world today, said Barnsley manager Viv Anderson afterwards.